Hey guys, BillyGhost098 here. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Mythbusters. This is episode 3, and as always, I hope you're enjoying the series. Now, quick little intro. Um, If you have any suggestions for future episodes, please do not hesitate to put them down in the comments below. And yeah, let's just get straight into these first couple myths. So this first myth is... I thought of this yesterday. Um... So when you go into the nether, you know, like you let the portal go into the nether, will a map still work? I believe what happens with a compass. Oh, that villager just went into the nether. I believe what happens with a compass is it just gets all skewed up and I think it might point to your portal. Yeah, I think, no, the compass is just going, I'm not even moving and the compass is just going randomly. So, yeah, the compass does not work. Let's check if what happens when you do a map. Oh, the map shows the top of the nether. You know how the top of the nether is all like bedrock? Here, I'll show you. Yeah, so this is the top of the nether right here. And that's what this map is showing. So the map does not show, and it's a little bit jittery actually. I'm not even moving my mouse right now. My hand is off my mouse. Yeah, it's pretty jittery. See, I'm not even moving right now. But yeah, it goes and shows the top of the nether. So the first myth is busted. Compasses do not work in the nether. But the second myth is confirmed. Maps do work in the nether. However, they only show the top of the nether. Hey guys, so this next myth involves llamas and wolves. Now, as you know, wolves are actually afraid of llamas. If I place one a llama down in a wolf, the wolf will try and run away. And the llama will spit on the wolf. Because, um, I think because... The llamas spawn in hills biomes, and wolves are known for hills, and they just clash, and they fight each other. But I'm wondering, even on, like, a difficulty, even on difficulty, I'm on easy right now, which, just for the recording, they will not fight back the, uh, llama. But the thing is, this is a lone wolf. If you know in the wild, wolves are, like, like, they're very, um, pack animals, they're, they're a wolf pack, it's very, it's very, like, it's very known, um, that they're better in packs and they're kind of weak on their own so I'm wondering if there's a pack of wolves I'm wondering if that will kill the uh, llama or if the llama will still scare them all away I fear a lot I theorize a lot about Minecraft so yeah so now let's see if an alpaca once an alpaca spits on it what happens okay it still seems they're running away Okay, let's spawn in like a massive wolf pack. Oh! They're fighting back! Look at this! They're just in a big- They just killed the alpaca! Look at this! Look at that- Some are afraid, but some are fighting back. Wow! So this myth is kind of a mix of both, but I guess the original myth is... Confirmed. Wolves will attack llamas when in pack. Now guys, this next myth I already know the answer to. So I'm wondering if cows will die for love. Um, yeah, they, they die. Okay, so this contraption right here is very good for mob spawners. So basically, um, you have the two, the, you have like your platform that your mob spawn on right here. Then in between the little canals that carry water, you put trap doors. Now basically what a mob sees is they see this, so they think they can walk across it. And eventually the mobs will walk across it, even if I just put them like, say I get a creeper. Eventually the creeper will just walk across. And they don't see that it's uh, not closed, and it's something that Mojang put in the game, and you know, they never, oh did one just die? They, they never really took out. Yeah, see, that one just killed itself. That would have jumped down to the water canal, floated down, then fell off into the... Oh, another one just killed themselves. They just think it's a solid block, so they stand on it. Haha, <laughs> guys, this is pretty funny. Well, just wait for it. This is, this is really funny. Oh, shoot. The cat got squished. <laughs> they all just ran out of the world. So, with this myth, I'm kind of wondering what happens when you put a creeper... Oh, look at this. It's like a bounce pad thing. Did the cats just hurt the creeper? Yeah, look at that. The creeper's turning red, which means he's getting hit. 
what happens when I do that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, the creeper's running away from them, and he's even gonna push- He just pushed himself off the edge of the world. Oh man, that's funny. That's really funny. Okay, so I guess- I guess we found that out about creepers. Yeah. Pooping out some baby kittens. Uh, uh. Pooping out some baby kittens. Uh, uh. Oh man, she's farting. Holy crap. Chicken bomb! Chicken bomb 2.0. Well, guys, I think that's going to be where I end this episode. <laughs> Look at that. That's kind of funny. I think this is where I'm going to end this episode. Thank you for watching. They just go crazy whenever I pull out the fish. Thank you for watching. Watch me whip. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. And if this video was a little bit strange, I have recorded like four YouTube videos today. Um, it's the Friday um, on that day that I posted the update video. And this will be coming out well a week from that day. So, I've... I've yeah, it, it, it's been a lot, so that's why these are coming out really quick. So yeah, thank you for watching. Peace.